WNYT Albany. News Channel 13, live at noon, begins right now. The name for the newly merged health care system in the Capital Region has been announced. It is St. Peter's Health Partners. That's the result of the merger we've been telling you about of St. Peter's Health Care, Seton Health, and Northeast Health. Hospital leaders announced the new name this morning. While the final legal steps won't be complete until this summer, the new health care is already being streamlined. Abigail Bleck was at this morning's announcement, and she'll tell us how this affects patient care in our evening newscasts. Live from WTEN, this is News 10 at 4 on the News Station. Starting later this year, some local residents may find their doctor's offices have a new name when they go in for appointments. Northeast Health, St. Peter's Healthcare, Seton Health will soon provide mental care as medical care as St. Peter's Health Partners. It's just another step as the three health care providers become one. The name officially debuts next year, but some offices could see the change in the next few months. Despite the change, hospitals in the new system, St. Peter's, Albany Memorial, Samaritan, and St. Mary's are all keeping their names. From WNYT Albany, News Channel 13 Live at 5 begins right now. Turns out when hospitals combine, the one with the strongest name recognition wins when it comes to branding. The new health system created by the merger of Northeast Health, St. Peter's, and Seton Health now has a new name. But that's not all. Abigail Bleck has details live from the newsroom. Abby. Benita, the hospital's research indicated that of the three, the St. Peter's name was the most recognizable in the region. All four acute care hospitals involved, St. Peter's, Albany Memorial, Samaritan, and St. Mary's, will retain their individual identities. The hope is, though, the new symbol and new system-wide name, St. Peter's Health Partners, will be what links the facilities in the eyes of the community. We not only want to bring things together operationally, but we want to bring things together in people's minds, that this is truly a coordinated single entity. By offering health care under one umbrella, the goal is to no longer duplicate services. That should help patients to navigate their options better and save money for both the patient and the provider. We have to balance access with uh, specialization or expertise or quality and uh, cost. Currently, the facilities compete for staff. The plan now is for the single system to hire the best of the best. Each organization has capabilities and strengths that are unique, and those will be part of the new organization. Organization. Hospital leaders also believe the consolidation better prepares them all for the health care reform laws coming out of Washington. You become more cost efficient. Health care reform is saying, health care, you must be more cost efficient than you were. That's very, in fact, it's impossible to do in a highly fragmented market. Because St. Peter's Health Partners will be serving the same number of patients, hospital leaders say now that medical staff will not be reduced. They add quickly that all the details do still need to be worked out, though. Abigail Bleck, News Channel 13. Abby, thanks very much. Jim? From WNYT, Albany, News Channel 13, live at 6, begins right now. When four become one... The one with the greatest name recognition apparently wins. The four emerging acute care hospitals, St. Peter's, Albany Memorial, Samaritan, and St. Mary's, announced their new shared identity today, and it is St. Peter's Health Partners. This first-of-its-kind medical consolidation in New York is expected to save money for the patient and the providers. Services will no longer be duplicated, which should make navigation easier for patients and allow the system to hire the best of the best because they won't be we competing for staff. We don't provide coordinated care and so therefore it can't possibly be of the quality level and the cost efficiency level that it ought to be. Because St. Peter's Health Partners will be serving the same number of patients, the hospital leaders say now that medical staff won't be reduced. From WNYT Albany, News Channel 13, live at 11, begins right now. 
The new health system created by the merger of Northeast Health, St. Peter's, and Seton Health now has a new name this evening. The hospital's research indicated that of the three, the St. Peter's name was the most recognizable in the region. All four hospitals involved will retain their individual identities. But the hope is that the new symbol and the new system-wide name, St. Peter's Health Partners, will be what links the facilities to the community. We not only want to bring things together operationally, but we want to bring things together in people's minds that this is truly a coordinated single entity. By offering health care under one umbrella organization, Reed adds services won't be duplicated, and that, he says, should better help patients find what they're looking for and save them and the provider money. This is YNN, your morning news now. If you haven't heard the name St. Peter's Health Partners, you're not alone, and that's because it is the official name of a merger between three local health care facilities. The health system is created by the merger of Northeast Health, St. Peter's Health Care Services, and Seton Health. Officials from each of the hospitals were on hand for this announcement. The president and CEO for Northeast Health says that this is all about reforming health care. By really bringing together, probably, I'm not aware of anywhere in New York State that is going to do it the way we're going to do it, and that is bringing all the elements of the health care continuum together under one umbrella. Um, obviously, that's a very heady undertaking, very difficult one, but it, when it comes to criticism of health care, that's where the criticism has always been. We are too fragmented. We don't provide coordinated care. The merger to create St. Peter's Health Partners will be finalized in a month or two.